Welcome everyone, my name is Steve and I'm going to show you how to enable text-to-speech inside your C++ application inside this tutorial but if you're basically here for the C version of the program I actually have a link to a video in the description that is specifically designed for C but the code is very similar for both the C and C++ programming languages when taking this approach so you should still be able to follow along and I'm still going to provide both the source codes for both C and C++ inside the description of this video as well. So let's jump right in. So for starters, we need to download an application called eSpeak and we shall open up our browser. Browser first. Once your browser finally loads up, type in the word eSpeak and it should show you a page similar to this. We'll click on the first link. This will lead us to a page similar to this and we'll look for the download section, click on download and we'll download the setup eSpeak exe file. Please make sure to download the exe file and not the source code. Since I'm running on Windows, I'm going to download the Windows version. And my download will start shortly. So for this tutorial, I'm going to be using code blocks as my editor so i'm going to come and also set up code blocks in the meantime my my download is complete so once the download is complete we'll go to the downloads folder downloads folder inside the downloads folder we'll click we'll come and click on our file on our exe file to have, to have the program installed Click yes, and we'll maintain all the program's default settings. So this installs the program on our system. We want to read the readme the text. No, we don't want. So finish. To make sure that the program is properly installed on your on on your machine, come down here. And search for TTS app, and if this shows up, that means the program is actually installed on your program on your computer. Once I open this app and come and press speak, enter text, text you wish spoken, spoken here. here. The text that's here is is read out loud for me, and we can change the voice from down here. That's the male's voice. We can change it to a female's voice down here. Enter text you wish spoken here. You can literally write anything here, and to be spoken out loud to you read out loud to you so let's close this since we won't be working with this in this tutorial but our main interest are the files of the program that we just installed and those files are found inside local disk assuming that you left all the setup default settings for the installation as they were so we'll go to the program files we'll look for eSpeak and inside this peak, we shall look for the command line tool. And if you double click on this, it opens up a command line window. And if you type in anything here, hello, hello world, and click enter, hello world. it is read out loud to you. And our program is going to basically be using this window for outputting the sound that it will be outputting. And I'm going to show you how just in a minute. So back to code blocks. We shall create a new project and I'm going to create a console application for C and I'm going to name it T T no I'm going to name it uh, C P P T C uh, T T T S C P P text to speech. This gives us a blank Okay, it gives us a template for our C++ project in code blocks. I'm going to build and run this to make sure everything is running smoothly. And it actually is because I'm seeing hello world. So we'll have to include some header files for this project. We'll have to include hashtag include string because we shall be working with strings and we shall have to include hashtag include windows dot h since we want to be able to interact with the windows command line interface properly 
and I'm going to remove all these to have a clean slate just so int main and if you are creating a variable that's going to keep the string that we want our program to speak out loud so free I'm, I'm going to name it phrase and I'm going to put hello world we shall have to concatenate our string with a few command line arguments and I'm going to name this command equals speak to tell our command line that we want to use the speak so I to, to put semicolon there And we shall have to convert our command to a C string. Since the system the system function takes in a C string, which you guys will see later on. Check command. Command and we're converting this command into a C string and keeping the result inside this variable here. So we use system and the system takes in a constant C string which is up here which we just defined. So I can copy this and put it in here. And once we once we build our project, we don't get any errors. <laughs> once and once we build our project, and once we build our project, we don't get any errors. So once we come and try to run our project, the we get a message here that ispeak is not recognized as an internal or external command. Now to fix this, there are two solutions: either you add ispeak to your path, or you or the second option, you go to the files of ispeak inside inside ispeak here, enter, go to the command line folder and pick this program here, copy it and put it in the root of your program files. Right now, the program I'm running here has its files inside the C scripts folder and we labeled it uh, cpptts, it's here at the top and once I come and place paste the ispeak here, a copy of the ispeak.exe here and come back and again try to run the program sorry, this is uh, I'm sorry. build it, everything's okay, so come and run it hello world it works, so that's one way of doing it the other way is for you to go to your system path and add ispeak to your system path so that you can access it anywhere and also through the command line by just typing the word ispeak and I'm going to show you guys also that in a second very fast so let me go back to where we were before so we're inside here so this is uh, so the, this is the path to the ispeak.exe once you come and copy this and add it to your system path like this go to advanced system settings Edit environmental variables, go to path and edit. Then you come and add it as a new entry. New entry. Paste it here and click OK. OK. OK, apply this and close up that. So this same round we can use our normal command line tool. I'm pressing Windows and R to pop up the command line in the middle. Press OK. And once I press I enter the command is speak and type in a word after it. Hello. It is actually being detected system wide now. Is speak can now be used system wide through the com the command line. Once I go back to our pro uh, to our project, our project files, and emit is speak .exe. Delete this from here. And come back and try to build 
and run this this peak is not recognized as an internal external command this is because code blocks needs to reboot in order for you to be able to read that the path has changed so as wait for code blocks to boot up again So let's go back and try to build the project and build and run it now. Hello world. And it works properly. I'm sorry about the echoes that are there right now. The echoes are because the sound waves from the laptop are meeting with my microphone. Hope you guys will forgive me about that. So uh, let's close up this. And yeah, that was it. Now this is just a bare minimum introduction to the software. To the to the eSpeak software and there's still so much you can do with it you can actually even change the voice to make it sound feminine and to do that you use these commands you the video I don't know the name of this other symbol here I'm trying to zoom in Ho I'm hoping you guys can see me clearly so you put the symbol the V then put plus f3 and once you compile this Hello world. it sounds more feminine now all this information is actually available for you to read inside the files of the application itself you go to the eSpeak folder click on it go to the docs and that's why you can find everything you start with the indexed with a index file and you can read about everything now the documents are here and you read about everything that you need to know the usage the what and where i got that part of being able to change the voices i got it from is it in the usage section so in the usage section i came down to windows because i'm using windows went to the command line options read all this and Finally, landed with the part of changing voices from down here. Put that special symbol, then V, then put the voice that you want. Now, M is for male voices and F is for female voices. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you actually learned something from the tutorial, please give it a, a like so that other people can, can actually be able to also find it and learn something from it.